Yes, you've asked for this, and now I have it in my hands. Let's have a look at this rather odd-looking egg-shaped lens. The new TT Artisan 17mm 1.4 for Micro Four Thirds. Before I continue, this video is not sponsored, but Pergear did send me this lens for an honest review. So here I am. To be frank, I've done tons of budget Chinese micro four third menu lenses over the past 12 months, including some of my favorites from Pergear themselves, Yongno, Seven Artisans, and now premium manufacturer Laowa. But I've actually never tested TT Artisan, and that's why I'm super curious and excited about the opportunity to add another brand to this channel. So, buckle up and let's jump right in. I guess you will all be familiar with my opening statement for almost all Chinese lenses these days. For less than $100 or £70, this budget TT Artisan's new 17mm is superbly put together with metal barrel and heavy glass elements. Focusing ring is super smooth and the click stop aperture ring is reassuringly firm to avoid accidental changes due to knocks. Yet doesn't feel stiff. Even the very old fashioned screw and lens cap is metal. Once again, the only giveaway that this lens is a budget lens is the printed markings. I really would like to see them engraved onto the lens barrel, but overall I can't complain the build quality of this lens. At 248 gram, the egg-shaped TT Artisan 17 1.4 is not light. Throughout the entire review, this lens is mated to my trusty Olympus OMD EM5 Mark III, and this combo is slightly front-heavy, but I wouldn't say uncomfortable. So it should balance very well with the likes of EM1 bodies. However, the deceptive small physical size just makes it a lot better on the compact body like the EM10, Pen, or even the EM5. As you can see here. Even with its slightly overweight body, the 17mm 1.4 is a joy to use, especially for photography. Unlike most Chinese lenses I've tested recently, this lens has a click stop aperture ring. Oh yes, each click is half a stop, so it's easy to develop muscle memory just like the good old days of photography. As said, the focusing ring is buttery smooth, despite a slightly longer throw but good if you are the precise type of photographer. So this lens is made for photographers and you can of course use it for video, but I would not advise anyone who may be interested in adapting this lens for serious video works. It is not because of the click stop aperture nor the lack of focus breathing, but rather the unusual filter thread. At 40.5 millimeters, you'll be hard pressed to find anything compatible on the market. So even with high image quality and bokeh, which I'll talk about them later, you probably can't find any fitting ND filters for video use. But like I said, for photography, I totally dig it. TT Artisan 17mm 1.4 is constructed with nine elements in eight groups. And here comes the surprise. I do genuinely wholeheartedly say it. The image quality really blows me away. Not for the price, but really for a 17mm lens, it is bloody fantastic. As you can see here, Overall sharpness of the lens is already very promising at 1.4. Central area is good enough to offset your girlfriend. Yeah, you know what that means. <laughs> and stopping down the lens will see slight improvement with optimal at 5.6 before diffraction kicks in at f11. Corner sharpness is as good as any fast lenses in this category. 
slash softness at extreme edges and sharpens up nicely by 2.8. Optimo is again at 5.6 with the same f11 diffraction. Vigna is visible but not severe at 1.4 and goes away by 2.8. There's also some barrel distortion that's common with wide prime lenses and very easy to fix in post. I'm also shocked at how well flare is kept under control. I've tried very hard to get it going, but only in some extreme cases where I find a hint of it in my image. This is often an area where cheap lenses fail, but TT Artisan has done a fantastic job. And just to remind you, this lens does not even come with a lens hood. But after seeing this, I don't see the need of it. So well done. Here's another surprise. The bokeh quality is simply gorgeous. With 10 blades, the bokeh boards are round at almost any given aperture setting. With no fringing, all the boards are smooth with no hard circles visible. Overall, bokeh is creamy and tight and modern in focused areas. Seriously, am I actually looking at a sub $100 lens? I guess this is one of the shortest conclusion ever. I recommend this lens. It's the gem of the century in the photography world. I don't know how TT Artisan makes this, but I'm seriously impressed. I now understand why they decided to have the lens design printed on the lens barrel. They must be very proud of it, and deservingly so. Yes, I have to congratulate TT Artisan for achieving such performance with such affordable costs. I don't care if you already have the brilliant Olympus 17mm 1.8 or the king of 17mm, my workhorse 17mm 1.2 Pro. Just get this bloody lens. I love it. My TT Artisan lens review came as a shock, but a good shock. Now you've seen some sample images, what do you think? Let's have a chat in the comment section below. So this is the end of my review and you know what to do. Thumb if you enjoyed this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things Michael Four Thirds and of course, Olympus. Peace.